guys welcome back to my channel i feel like you can tell by the tone in my voice but i am so so excited for this video you guys today we have these trending denim looking like ducky type nails you know what i mean i'm sure you guys have seen it on instagram if you follow any nail pages or anything like that so yes today we'll be doing the denim duckies i'm super super excited and i feel like they came out so so good um i didn't have any duck tips um i didn't go out and buy them just because i don't have a lot of clients that request them but i just took my same easy basket tips that i always use and i just kind of flipped them over so i was sizing them seeing which ones fit and then i was cutting like half of it off like do you see how i'm like pushing it down and then i'm just like cutting it to where it will like fit on the free edge so this is a great way to do the duck nails or the flare nails or whatever you call them if you don't have the tips it's easy to just flip your tips around especially if you have coffin tips just go ahead and flip your um, tips around and then you easily have a flare nail Yeah, and when it comes to this thumb, I don't know, it was not sticking. And I was just like, how embarrassing. Because I'm recording this, like, have some decorum. Like, we have company. But regardless, I just filed um, whatever glue was on there off. I was like, all right, whatever, we're just going to start fresh. So I got a new tip, put some new glue on it, and then I made it stick. So if you ever have that problem, uh, your tip's not sticking, just go ahead and file the glue off and maybe, like, wipe it with um, alcohol and then try it again and it should stick this time and of course i'm out of frame for that part but like i said just wipe it with alcohol and then file it off So boom, now that we have our tips on, as you can see, um, the wells of the tips are actually on the free edge because like I said, we flipped them upside down. So at this moment in time, I'm just going ahead and taking my 80 grit file and I'm just going to um, kind of blend that tip in with the natural nail as best as I can. And then of course, when I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime. Of course, I'm using my No Lip Nails Primer as always. And this time I actually triple primed. I usually triple prime with like my longer nail clients. I feel like I have better retention that way. But if you just do twice, that should be fine too. As long as your clients aren't like super heavy handed. So now that she's all prepped and primed, clearly we are using a perfect nude by Valentino. <laughs> Love to have a hair model. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking this perfect nude by Valentino and then I'm gonna do all of the nails with this color and then the design if we're gonna use polish. And one thing I can say about laying acrylic when it comes to duck nails, I felt like when I first started, I was like, oh, like it'll just be normal. So like I kind of just went in with like a normal size bead that I will always use not realizing like I probably just need a little bit extra just because of the flare on the end so I think that was pretty much the only difference but for the most part laying the acrylic is exactly the same it's not a problem at all so if you're ever nervous to try them honestly I say just try them because this is my first time ever doing duck nails I've never done this shape before 
Um, so yeah, it was my first time and I was nervous at first, but literally once I did it, I was like, these are fire. So don't ever doubt yourself. If you want to try something, try it. And if it doesn't work out, just try it again.
Y'all, somebody please come get their friend. Why does girl want to be my camera so bad? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to jump ahead to um, filing. I literally just had to put her in there because why are you trying to be in my camera so bad? Um, and then I think I just showed this hand because the other hand was out of camera, out of, out of frame. I just, I don't know. We're working on it, but I do like this angle. So, um, yeah, I'm taking my, this is a 100 grit file. And I'm just doing the sides. And for the most part, the shaping was actually the same too. Like when it came to the filing, I still was like holding my file like straight, like at a 90 degree angle, but I just flipped her fingers and like changed the position of the fingers so that the position would be right and it wouldn't make it completely square. It would just flare a little bit and just shape everything. As always, don't forget to measure your hands against each other and make sure everything is the same size. So, here she goes, throwing gang size. Girl! <laughs> Y'all, I love my friend. This is like, I had such a great time today. I'm in such a great mood. I love the set. She just like brought such good energy into the job. But, um, so yeah, now I'm taking my drill. And, I don't know, normal. Very normal. Go around the cuticles, seal that cuticle area really good. Um, vertical lines to debulk and horizontal lines to smooth everything out. Literally the filing was the exact same, so, or the drilling was the exact same, so I didn't have a problem when it came to that. After filing and drilling, of course the last step is to buff, so make sure you buff those nails really, really good, and then make sure that they're as smooth as possible for your polish, because if you have lumps and bumps in your acrylic, it's definitely going to show through the polish. I don't care how many charms and rhinestones and all that stuff y'all want to put on your nails, it doesn't matter if your foundation is lumpy and bumpy, so make sure your foundation is right before you go ahead and try to do any design on them nails, please. 
So now it's design time. I'm taking this blue color called Iris from Nail Supply Glamour. Guys, I've looked on their website and I don't see this exact color anymore or at least it's not named the same thing anymore i've had this for a couple years so i don't know if they just discontinued it or just changed the name or what but regardless so i'm taking that color and then i fully painted um the pinky and then we're gonna go ahead and do um some frenchies so i did a frenchie on this nail and i think i did one on the index finger so however you draw your frenchies just draw some frenchies and this is going to be the base for our denim design. So then moving on to the cutout nail, all I did was just draw some lines like on the outer edge of her nails. I think I did two. Yep, I did one on each side. So, and then I just filled in the middle part with that same blue color. And then once you're done with like this part on all your fingers, just go ahead and cure that hand for 60 seconds. Also, if you mess up or go over your lines a little bit, it's totally not a big deal. You haven't cured it yet. So just take you a little cleanup brush and then fix your lineup and you're good to go. Okay, so now for the second layer, all I did was take that same um, blue polish, that iris, and then I mixed it with a little bit of black, and I'm only putting this on the outside of the nail, you guys, like closest to the edge. Do not put this in the middle. I mean, you could. I don't know what that would look like, but all the tutorials I've watched and like the patterns I've seen, like everybody did them on the outside, and that's what got me the look that I wanted. So. I did this only on the outside edges and then not even curing this, I'm gonna take that same like mixture, that blue and that black, and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white and fill in the center a little bit. But I'll, I'll explain that in a second.
So then, like I said, not even curing this, I went in with that uh, mixture of the blue, black, and the white. And at first I was using a little ombre brush, but I really didn't like how that was coming out. So I just took my little like chrome, like makeup sponge wand thing, and I just kind of dabbed the like the lighter blue in the center and I really liked how that came out. It, I feel like it gave it like a textured look almost, but it was so subtle. So now that you have your jean look, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some white on the edges and do little like lines or like dots, whatever you wanna call them, um, and basically make the stitching for what would be the jeans. And I think I did two lines. Yeah, so on this nail, well, of course I, outli I outlined it, but then I also did two lines on either side. So you'll see that in a second. Then when it came time to do the rips, basically I just took that white and I was just kind of going back and forth and just making lines to give it kind of like a messy, just like, you know how ripped jeans look. So I was just trying to get that effect and it really wasn't hard. Like I said, just go back and forth with your brush and then sometimes the back and forth wasn't working. So I just did lines one way and then lines another way. But like I said, this is a messy look, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do what you can and I promise it's going to look good. Also guys, please don't forget to wipe your sides um, before curing because if you wait till after, it's gonna be such a pain to get off the skin. Um, and then for the fringe for the jeans, <laughs> this is what I do. Yeah, don't play with it, don't play with it. If you are not about your craft like this, then what are you? What are you? What are you? Bro! <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why I screamed like that at the end. I don't know what I was telling her or yelling at her about, but yeah, so basically, I was wearing ripped jeans and I just cut off a little bit of the fringe and I put it on her nails. So I used my McCart rhinestone glue and I just put this on the side. And then at first, all I cut was like the little, as you can see, like the little um, blue pieces. So you'll see like once I put that on and I was like, okay, like it's cute, but like I felt like it was missing something. So then I went back and I cut some more of my pants and I just cut like the white part. And once I added the white, I was like, okay, now we're working with something. I loved it, but the white definitely was a needed touch for sure. Also, y'all, I completely forgot to mention that in between these two clips, just to save a little bit of time because this video is already a little bit long, um, I did go ahead and top coat. So before I put any rhinestone gel or any charms or anything on her nails, I did go ahead and top coat. So I used a regular top coat and then I went ahead and used my MAC top coat from Nail Supply Glamour over top of that to give it that matte look.
so then once I cured that, I just went ahead and trimmed a little bit of those fringe pieces because they were, I didn't want them to be too long. I really just wanted it to be like a little accent on the nail. So I didn't want it to be like sticking out or just like getting in her way or anything like that. So just go ahead and trim your little fringe a little bit. And y'all tell me that doesn't look so much better with that white. Like you literally couldn't tell me that. They look so much better. Like it definitely was a needed detail. So then the final step in this process, you guys, is just adding her charms. You guys, I got these charms off of Amazon. If you just type in nail charms on Amazon, they're going to pop up. They were like six, between like six and eight dollars, but they weren't that expensive. Um, but yeah, so just literally just type in nail charms and like a whole bunch of like these crosses and stuff will pop up. And of course, the very last step in any of my sets is to just go ahead and apply the cuticle oil. You guys, I am so absolutely like overjoyed and pleased with how these came out, especially with it being my very first time ever trying the flared nails or just trying to achieve this design. Like, I'm just obsessed and I absolutely love how they came out. But yeah, guys, so this is basically the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos, who subscribes to me. Like, it really does mean a lot. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure you guys go do that. I post on there almost daily. So yeah, go check me out over there and enjoy these original songs by Kira Banks. I'm so fine. Me and my eyes, no one on the rise. It's a vibe all the time.